Break the seal and evil will be unleashed. Curse the day that the symbols turn crimson. Okay, so yeah, we're doing this. We're just unleashing evil, I guess. Probably shouldn't do that. I swear I hear like a creature noise, like a creature breathing. Maybe it's birds? I don't know. Nineteenth of August, eighteen eighty four. Dear Mr. Construction Worker, I do not see where the problem lies. The stone pieces glowed a little. Nothing more than that. Plenty of things glow. It does not make them or the lower garden scary, as you said. Just hire new people from town. I hear that a lot of people hang around the hospital. Why don't you take some of them? Also, leave the puzzle box alone. It is not junk. I made it for the kids. Yours, Einar. Mr. Construction Worker? Feels like an odd way to address someone. So the owners of this place, I think, knew about the magical things. I mean, how could you not? Ninth of August, 1884. I must say that you are acting very irrational. I do not approve of being called ungodly or mad. The lower garden is a perfectly normal place. Leaving this work unfinished will have severe consequences for you. I warn you that I have many contacts. I will send a note to my friend in town who is a barber. Surely you'll have trouble finding new jobs after this. Okay, so it's that one, <clears throat> and stone inscription, this one, this one. Uh, so boomerang thing is too counterclockwise from the flat part. I think a piece is missing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that did it. Next one is the triangle. Yes, give me more lanterns. Fifteenth of August, eighteen eighty-four. Also to the construction worker. Oh, this is, I guess, the one that I was supposed to read first. Welcome. I am Einar, the owner of the estate. If you have spoken to Miss Nelly, she probably said exaggerated things about me. I assure you that I'm quite a rational person. I hope you've gotten the plans for the lower garden. The stone pieces are to be handled with great care. I must say that I am not truly content with having a couple of ruffians running around on my lands, but Miss Nelly forced me to hire you. I would much rather do it myself. With that said, know that I will keep an eye on you. Yours, Einar. Einar's kind of a dick, huh? Ruffians running around on my lands. That's what we call construction workers? What?
Oh man, there's so many different ways to go. It will rip the fabric of reality apart. And then this connects back over here, I think. Yes. Man, it looks so pretty all lit up. Triangle. And triangle is three, three counterclockwise. Ooh. I feel like I should follow it back, but there's still more things to explore here. I'll come back here. Let's follow it. I see, like, darkness spreading out of here. That's not good. They turn crimson. This links up over there. Oh, puzzle. Hmm. Ah, I see. Okay, so it flips the direction of everything... How do I describe it? Of everything around it in like a plus symbol, right? If I click this one, it's going to reverse the direction of those four at the cardinal directions from what I clicked. So, how do I get them all turned over? Is the question... Uh, oh, there's even a reset button. Good. <laughs> Thank God. How would I do this? It's hard for me to visualize this. Like, how would I get this one? I'd have to either press this or this to get the corners. I think the corners are going to be the hardest part. Well, this isn't a solution, but I managed to get a pretty cool pattern. I got the middle four unturned and all the outside turned. Aha! Congratulations on finding the first puzzle box, kids. The lower garden didn't exist when I came to the estate. The carpenter said it would be impossible to use the sunken land. As you can see, I proved them wrong. In only 10 years, I managed to drain the water permanently. I created a beautiful garden, but more importantly, an area for scientific experiments. Scientific experiments? Is that what I've been seeing about seals and evil and glowing things? First puzzle box. So there's going to be more. Yeah, they mentioned one of the notes. Don't take it away. It's for the kids. We need to keep an eye out for them. Okay, now I think we can go through the demon's gate. Did you just come through there? I did. 
I'm looking for my sister Sophia. Have you seen her? My name is Marie. That's a lovely name. Marie. I'm Nora. Oh, I can answer. Where are you? What do you mean? I'm right here. Oh, sometimes when I wake up, no one can see me all day. Must be one of those days. What is this place? You're not supposed to be in there. All I hear is, Nora, don't go in there. But it's very exciting that you're here. I think I better get going. I need to find Sophia. Another girl? And she's missing? Then we'll need to find her. Run up to the house and we'll see if we can spot her. Okay. They sound cheerful and helpful, but I'm a little bit worried. Ah, another one of these. There we go. That one was actually pretty difficult. They're just very dark and hard to see any shapes to match up. light up? Oh, that's cool. Look at the way it lights up, too. Just yet, that seems like the main way. Oh, kids' playhouse? a little wooden sword. I'm not trying to light it on fire. I'm just trying to get it to a brighter spot. Ah, it's another puzzle box. Ah, so same idea, but different type of grid? Yeah, it's not a square, it's a rectangle. Whew, that took a while. Congratulations on finding the second puzzle box, kids. There are three things that a child needs. Food, books, and a treehouse. <laughs> Naturally, I had to make some adjustments to the garden when you moved in. Miss Nelly was furious. It's dangerous, she said. I think she's jealous and that she too wants to climb the trees, but is too stubborn to admit it. P.S. Don't tell her I wrote that.
This garden's like a maze. There is one thing that I miss in the estate. It is a beautiful home, but it is too quiet. When I was in town, a child approached and hugged my legs. They startled me and caused me to stagger. But when it ran away, I was not furious. Instead, I felt a little warm inside. I shall tell Miss Nellie to fetch some kids from town. This will be marvelous. I'll show them my inventions. P.S. I can't seem to find my wallet. Ask Miss Nellie about this. Okay, I have a couple things to say. Um, this, uh, a child approached me and hugged my legs. This startled me and caused me to stagger. But when it ran away, they're calling it the child an it. And also she'll tell Miss Nellie to fetch some kids from town. Like, hmm, this little creature hugged my legs. It was all right. Go get me some more kids, Nellie. Pretty creepy. Marie, the gate here is locked. But I know the combination. And you must solve three riddles to get it. Three riddles? The kids hid the numbers all around the garden. See if you can find them. Now, the first riddle. Hope you're ready. I can go far and fast, but I always come back down. Far and fast, but I always come back down. Probably the swing, huh? Well done! But I found it way faster than you did. Can you guess this one? I show the time, but I only work during the day. Oh, that's easy. We saw a sundial back there. Uh, should I be writing these down? It'll probably give it to me when I finish it, right? Or maybe I can just remember it. I'll try. Five. Two. You're pretty good at this. On to the last riddle, and no cheating, miss. I sit on a hill. I am made of wood, but I'm not a tree. One of the tree houses? On a hill. I don't know if this could be described as on a hill. Let's go to the other one. Ah, 
You found all of them. Now get back to the gate and let's find your sister. 527. See? That didn't take long at all. Now let's get up to the house. I'll fly ahead. Fly? Whatever it is, it can fly. I don't know, I feel like it's some sort of fairy spirit, just based on the voice, I guess. Ah, another one of these. Nice change of pace. Is that a knife? It is. It's also a little scary. I mean, I'm the one who has it, though. Sh shouldn't really be scary. It's not like it's covered in blood or something. Oh, I can examine the board, so I probably need to cut the rope so I can put them across the bridge. They are stuck together. Just one's enough, right? of March 1985, I think. How did I end up here? I crawled through the small tunnel and then I heard that sound, but at least I'm still here. I'm going to have a quick look around and then find a way back to the lodge. I walk as far as I can in all directions and something keeps bringing me back to this spot. I sense that there's someone else here somewhere. That was the last trace ever seen of him. He must have somehow gotten into the garden and then just disappeared. Of course I was skeptical of my new invisible friend. But she did seem keen on finding Sophia, and I could use all the help I could get. While climbing up the stairs, I was sure it was all just a dream. People are wondering about the stone pieces in the lower garden. They might seem quite interesting, but they are not. I found them on a trip to Northern Europe and noticed that they seemed to glow. I knew that they must tap the energy from the magnetic field surrounding the earth. I had to take them to the lower garden since I had seen the same mysterious energy there. One night in the lower garden, I saw small flickering green lights by the water and heard a buzzing sound. This must be the magnetic field, I thought. Sadly, the stone pieces did not work when they arrived here. They did nothing, and I was greatly disappointed in them. Perhaps those construction workers did something to the pieces. I knew that we shouldn't have hired them. You and your weird construction worker hate. I 
think they get more rings as I go on. <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay, this one's definitely right. Because that matches a lot of things. I'm trying to match it up here. It's hard to see, but there's like a snake body that's curling, I think, and this one curls up this way. Actually, yeah, that's correct. So I'm trying to complete the snake's body. Uh, no. Wait. Is it like that? No. That? Yes. Finally, there you are. It was a bit more difficult to see from up here than I thought. You should go up to the attic. There is something important up there. I'm sure it'll help us find her. Or was I supposed to stay away from there? Let's see what's up there. Inside it is. Oh, that's odd. I'll be up there in a minute. What's odd? I see six or more candles to light and a bunch of lanterns and that makes me very happy but for now i think this is a pretty good place to end the episode so i hope you've enjoyed so far and i'll be back soon